Hello my dear friends. Hi. Welcome to our YouTube channel ADC Max. In this class, I am going to introduce the function even and odd functions. Because this even and odd function play an important role in finding the Fourier coefficients a not a n b n in the interval minus a comma a generally minus a comma a uh, if it is say that particularly minus l comma l or minus pi comma pi now when we say that the function is even so it is even even means there is no change so when we change the axis that is x by minus x then we get the same output so that means that f of minus x is equal to f of x then we say that the function is even function so there is no change at all so there is no change in the shape or the graph of the curve there is a graph of the function that means it is symmetrically about the y axis for example modulus of x cosine function cos x is a polynomial function with the even degree terms x squared x power 4 x power 6 etc etc and any constant any constant term. This constant terms, that is constant, so there is no change at all in its graph. Suppose f of x is equal to k, then what about the graph of that one? So k, k must be 0 to 1. So 0 to some a or minus a to plus a, whatever it is, it is some k. So there is no change even though when we change its x by minus x. So these are the examples. Let us see the graph of the modulus x. So modulus of x graph is like this, is right? Okay, mod x. What's the mod x definition? Minus x if x is the negative, if x is less than 0, it is minus x plus x if x is positive. So the graph is like this. And see that when we fix the y axis, then it just looks like the mirror reflection. This looks like the mirror reflection. So that's why this is even, it is even function. Similarly, let us see the graph of the cosine function. What is the cos 0? Cos 0 is 1. Cos pi by 2 is 0, cos pi is minus 1. So, can you like that here the cos of minus theta is cos theta? So, the same carry. So, once again, this is a symmetry about the positive y axis. Let us see that it's a mirror reflection of this side. So, even though there is no change in this left hand side of the y axis, left hand side of the y axis, there is no change. It's like a mirror reflection. That's why this is called the even function. But what is in the case of R function? R function, when I replace x by minus x, it gives minus f of x, minus coming into the picture. So, minus coming behind the top, behind the given function. Then, what is, uh, the graph says that, the graph indicates that, the graph of the R function is something that, symmetrically about the origin. Okay? Let us see the examples. Uh, sin of minus theta, sin theta. So, obviously, sin x is an example, good example for the R function. Because I told you that, the periodic functions we are going to discuss under the Fourier series or uh, normally the simplest example for the periodic functions are trigonometric functions, sin and cos. So cos of minus theta is cos theta, so cos x is an even function, sin x is an odd function. And the odd powers of polynomials, ax, x power 3, x to the power 5, everything comes under the odd category. Suppose when I replace x by minus x, I am getting minus x only. So minus of f of x. Suppose I am getting f of x equal to x to the power 4. If I replace x by minus x, what I am getting there? So f of x is equal to x cube. If I am going to replace x by minus x, it is minus x to the power 3. This so will minus x cube is not even minus of f of x. So this is comes to minus sign behind that. What about sine of minus theta? Minus sine theta. So sine of minus x is minus sine x. So these are the simplest example for the odd functions. Now what is the graph of this sign? Already you know the sine is of the signals. Let us see that sine 0 is 0, sine pi by 2 is 1, sine pi is 0. So can you like that? Sine 3 pi by 2 is 0, sine 2 pi is 0, etc. etc. In the same manner, this left hand side of the y axis. Let us see that this is symmetric about the origin. So let us consider this one way, minus pi to plus pi. Let us bring to the next side, this becomes a closed curve. What says the Cauchy's fundamental theorem? If f of z is a Analytic function and continuous over a simple closed curve. So now this becomes closed. Why? Yeah, it is symmetrical to the origin, so this becomes a closed curve. 
once it is, becomes a closed curve, then the internal value must be zero. So this is the idea, right? So with the help of this, and with the help of the property, this is actually the property from the different integrals, what says that integral minus a to plus a, a may be a constant, minus a to plus a, f of x dx is equal to, we can rewrite this by, with the help of the nature of the f of x. Suppose, my f of x is even, it's an even function, what does it mean that? It is the mirror reflection. So, let us see that the graph of minus 50 plus 5 is nothing but, when I consider the left hand side of the y-axis, again it is fallen to the right hand side, so it becomes symmetric, it becomes similar, it is a, exactly the same. So, it is twice the time. So, that's why minus a to plus a f of x dx is equal to twice the time 0 to a f of x dx if f of x is even function. If f of x is even function. But at the same time, suppose the function is odd, what happened? This becomes a closed curve. This becomes a closed curve, so the interval value must be 0. So, that is 0. So, this is the one of the very important property and this property is applicable only when if it is defined in the interval minus a comma plus a, minus a comma plus a or if a is taken as l, minus l comma plus l because they are going to deal with only two different types of interval, l interval, pi interval. So, minus l comma l minus pi comma pi. So, this minus l comma l f of x dx, then this becomes integral 0 to l f of x dx. Twice the time, if f of x is even, if it is an odd function, it is 0. Apart from these two cases, we have one more type, it is called neither even nor odd. What is it mean the neither even nor odd? So, it is a, not a neither even function nor odd function. So, it does not belong to the, any one of the categories any one of the category, right? For example, the exponential function. Let us consider <coughs> what is f of x is equal to e to the power x. What about f of minus x? f of minus x, when replaced by x by minus x, this becomes e to the power minus x. So this is not equal to f of x, is right? So this is not equal to even. This is not equal to even. Okay. Is it not equal to minus e to the power minus x, right? Because there is no minus at all. So this is not equal to minus f of x as well. So this is not an odd function. This is not an odd function. So this is neither even nor odd function. Not only the e to the power x, sin hyperbolic function. Sin hx. What about sin hx? Yeah, sin hx may be comes under the odd function category because sin h of minus theta. What is sin h of minus theta? Let us find out the value. We will get the answer. Okay, so this is the example for the neither even nor odd hyperbolic functions. Please try to check whether hyperbolic functions are even or odd and tell me what is the answer and share and comment in my box what about the sin hx and the cos hx whether they are neither even nor odd or even function or odd function. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you.